Any online documentation contains some data that is repeated multiple times, like company name, emails, phone numbers, etc. Click Help offers an easy solution for using such data to store it in variables. To create one, go to Current Project – Variables. Here you can manage them, either for the project or for the whole portal. These two types of variables are created in the same way, so I'll show you how it's done for one type. The company name variable will have the same value for the whole portal most likely, let's create a global one then. Click Create Global Variable. Give it a name. And write a value for it. OK? Let's create one more. Phone number. OK? Now let's return to the project. Click Projects. This is the right one. Click Open. I'm going to place the variables to the footer. Lock and edit. Choose the place where the variable will be put. Go to the single sourcing tab of the editor's ribbon bar, the variable section, click here and choose the correct variable from the drop down box, company name. Click insert variable. Let's add the phone number as well. Clear the variable name, choose the correct one, phone number. Insert variable. Click Unlock and View to see how it looks in the topic. Here we can see the values of our variables. Besides, if your company name or, for example, phone number changes, you'll need to change it only once in the settings, and it will change for the whole portal or project, depending on whether you're using global or project variables. Let's check. Go back to current project variables, change the value for phone number, click here, add it, our phone number has changed, save it, go back to your project, open it, let's return to footer, and you can see 1 instead of null here. This is how the change of the value influenced the whole project. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us.